What's going on guys? We're back in the city today and I'm going to be trying out something new. We're going to be using a flash on the street. One of the things I've always wanted to do, I've seen a lot of photographers do it, is flash photography. And I also want to combine it with some long exposure photography. I'm trying to freeze the frame as well as introduce some motion blur into my shots. So I've been playing around with it a little bit over the last couple of weeks. I'm still trying to learn, so don't hold me to account. So I did try and film some of the talking points out on the street, but we didn't really bring the right equipment because this was a sort of last minute video that we put together. We weren't actually planning to shoot and we decided the last minute that we should. I didn't actually bring the right microphone and the audio ended up not being usable because it was so loud in the city. Trying to be a little bit sneaky shooting from underneath. So I decided that this was a good opportunity to actually try a different style of video where throughout the video, I'm gonna stop and talk about some of the images that I've taken. A huge shout out to Matt by the way, for coming along and helping me film this video. Check his channel out here. I'll put it here and a link in the description. Send him some love. I really appreciate his help on this video. I was hoping that the flash would actually freeze the subject but allow for motion blur to occur still in the background and that was the goal for a lot of these photos. So the flash has actually lit up her face but the way it's composed, it makes it look like her face is actually lit up by a phone, which may be the case, I'm not sure. But again, it still has that nice motion blur in the background and yet she's quite sharp in this image. first took those shots I didn't actually like them in the moment I was disappointed because the subjects all out of focus and I wanted them to be in focus and sharp in the background to be blurred and have motion in it but to be honest I like the way it came out being flipped this one in particular with the bird the nests and stuff is actually really well lit and exposed and then you've just got a little bit more of an interesting photo because you have the blurry subjects and the guy's arms coming out. So it kind of makes you think, well, what's he actually doing here? I really liked how it came out, even though it's not how I initially planned the shot to come out. cyclists I was trying to get were actually really hard to get in focus so what I noticed is the best way to actually get your subject as sharp as possible is to track them so you've got to take the photo and maintain it as they move along but it's very difficult during the day especially given that there's so much light already and the flash isn't strong enough like I touched on <laughs> how the kids 
the main center of the photo, but everything else is kind of blurred and has a lot of motion in it. I really feel like everything with the lines from the left here, the car, it all brings your attention straight onto the kid's face. And I also like that the mother's face is actually out of focus as well. I just think that this image came out amazing and I'm glad the flash actually was able to freeze it. It's not as sharp as I would have liked it to be, but from a distance you can't really tell. And I think Yeah, I really like this image here. I love the layering and the depth. You've got the guy in the center and then you've got the pop of color to show that there's two people in the mid ground. And then you've got a really nice line of light going through with some shadows uh, in the bottom. Probably one, another one of my favorites from the day. I love the way this shot came out. I think that it's the perfect balance between motion blur in the background and the subject being frozen and sharp. disappointed by. I turned around and I saw them pointing up and looking up and I didn't have time to actually change my settings so instead I decided to actually just shoot it as is and obviously the photo isn't as sharp as I would have loved it to be. I love the fact that she's frozen, sharp, and you've got amazing motion blur. It looks like she's in quite a hurry, running or walking really fast wherever she's going. There's a little bit more story. You can kind of see the people in the background here. Yeah, I just love the urgency, and I love that the flash plus long exposure is what helps produce images like these. So yeah, St. James is actually a really cool spot to take photos and I especially love this spot here where there's a cutout. I guess it's like a passage or something where people walking through, you can change either side. I did this shot here in particular without a flash. So I wanted to see what it would look like if I just did a long exposure shot. And I think I got lucky here because the lady has an orange bag on her, which really helped make her stand out, add a little bit more depth to this image. But you don't really need a flash in all situations if you're trying to do long exposures. 
it just helps freeze the subject a little better. So I spent a lot of time taking a lot of shots here with and without the flash. And I kind of liked it without the flash for this particular scene because the subjects are just too far away. If I had a brighter flash, maybe it could have worked better. I feel like it worked better just as a normal long exposure without the flash. And I love a lot of the shots I actually got here. I think it was a cool spot. And again, can't wait to come back. I actually really liked using a flash on the street. Just if you are gonna do it yourself, just be prepared that stealth has gone out the door. People are gonna notice you a lot more and honestly likely that people are gonna probably approach you. I recommend probably assessing the situation, making sure it's safe, making sure before you even take a shot that it's gonna be, it's not gonna cause any issues. And if you're not comfortable, it's probably better not to fire the flash in the first place to avoid any situations. You can come away with some really good shots using a flash on the street. There's other ways you can use a flash as well. And I'll, I've been trying, I'm gonna be trying to experiment with a flash a little bit more, but I'm really liking this long exposure flash for style of photography. I'm probably gonna keep a flash on me because it is quite small and it doesn't take up too much space. And I'm gonna keep using it out on the street because even though it does get me noticed and get and people approach me a lot more, I still really enjoyed the experience and I love a lot of the images that I can produce using a flash. If you guys enjoyed today's video, I really appreciate if you subscribe to the channel, like this video, leave a comment down below. Love to talk to everyone in the comments. I always try to reply to all my comments where I can. So I love talking to you guys down below. So definitely leave a comment. Aside from that guys, Thank you again for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.